10. I use the number 10 or 9 or whatever. Okay. I'll make you a cup of tea. Ikea is one of my absolute favorite places to go for food and just to walk around in general because it's my childhood memory. When I was a baby, my dad would already take me to Ikea to have dinner. But the Ikea here is different from the Hong Kong ones. Mm. This is just new. My first dinner back in Bristol. I feel like we're right. Why are you talking to yourself? Mm -hmm. When I listen to English people speak English, I don't always immediately understand what they're talking about. It could be the accent or different words that we use in American and British English. The staff member asked me if I wanted chips and in my head I was picturing like the snacks, potato chips. And then she scooped a whole bunch of fries to me and to me this is called French fries and not chips. So it's a brain rack moment and now I am responsible for a whole plate of chips. Today is actually bank holiday, labor day, so they are closing early and I getting I'm kicking myself out now. <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. I absolutely forgot that things don't open until late here. Especially today is the bank holiday. So <laughs> all the places that I can think of to buy a toothbrush and toothpaste are closed. Oh, and the coronation of King Charles is this weekend. Of course I came back just in time for the coronation. <laughs> and oh my god. I came all the way here finally, but even boots, the pharmacy, it's closed. Can I get my toothbrush? and toothpaste today. <laughs> Oops. See you tomorrow. You like it? No. Oh no, I don't know if you can eat pancakes. So I don't feed you. <laughs> Little storage room there as well. Oh. Oh. And there we go. So this is the bit one of the bedrooms, the ensuite. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not as like noisy as I thought because it doesn't face the street, right? This yeah, one. over these ones face uh -huh. 
into the courtyard. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay. Yeah, the HMO yeah. thing. <laughs> um, so this is this is another floor, like. So this is like the top there? of the back end, so we're facing mm. the the other street now. I've done that myself. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> okay, so the kitchen. So, is, kitchen. so this is the living room. Yeah. And this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Uh, yeah. So it's kind of an open kitchen. Yeah. So as you can see, I finished my first house viewing <laughs> and um, it was more fun than I expected and now I'm taking a walk around the beautiful older side of Bristol. I really love it here, I used to live here, so let's show you where I used to live. And maybe you would recognize that this is where I filmed my music video as well. I love this garden so much. It's 300 years old and the trees that you see here, they're also 300 years old. That's pretty cool, right? And it honestly makes me feel kind of like a Pride and Prejudice girl when I'm over here because look at the mansion. So <laughs> apparently a very rich family they bought this land and then they built the mansion and this really beautiful orangery. So orangery is basically a place where oranges used to be grown. But then later on the rich people found out that they don't actually need <laughs> they don't actually need to be uh, they need to plant oranges indoor. So they moved outdoors. Yeah, this is also where Sherlock Holmes was filmed. Oh, squirrels! Squirrels, where are you? Oh, squirrels, it's over there. <laughs> wow, beautiful roses. Why is it here? And this is the perfect time when wisteria, the purple flowers grow. They grow in May. And I remember last time when I did a video here, I didn't have a tripod, so I was using my suitcases. <laughs> How times have changed. It's been quite a while, but I'm back here at last. And this is where I used to live. It smells so good. I'm so happy. I was actually a tour guide here as well, so I know all the places very well. And that little, not little at all, the tower over there, it used to be a water bumping tower. So the rich family could, you know, get water of their own without having to rely on any central system. It's pretty cool, right? The weather is really nice today. I love it here. So I'm going to take you guys to a very secret place. Not many people know about this place. And that's the... What's that? Let's go. <laughs> it feels like Halloween. And it's really cold down here. <laughs> What's that? So, basically, it is a secret cave and there's nothing inside and uh, here it's another cave but you can see the windows but you need to get through this part to go inside but we cannot go inside because it's always locked it used to be open but <laughs> I think in the 80s, some students decided to hold a rave party here. Look at this, seashells. And then they destroyed a lot of the seashells and the structure here. So the university decided to not open the cave to the students anymore. 
but it's really, really beautiful inside. I love it. It's one of my favorite places in the whole of Bristol. And I lived right here. <laughs> when I was choosing my accommodation, I chose it, well, mainly because of the beautiful garden. And there's a cat as well, but I haven't seen the cat today. Maybe, hopefully. Can you hear me? Obi, come out, please. Obi! <laughs> anyway, he's a very, he's a very arrogant cat. So he does whatever he likes and he wouldn't just come to meet me. <laughs> and this is another part. So I kind of look like a freshman still, right? There are a lot of fresher students behind me. So they are the real first year students and I'm a fake, but <laughs> I think with my Asian face, I could pass as a very young, fresh student. <laughs> Let's go. Do you think you're in a period drama? And this is, oh, I realized I've been using the wrong phone to film this, but anyway. This is exactly my view back then. <laughs> I wonder who's living here right now. Yeah, I used to live here. I'm your senior. <laughs> Jump scare.